In this video, we'll learn about amplifier saturation. The DC power supplies for an amplifier, in this case VCC and negative VEE, provide the power the amplifier needs to provide gain, but they also place limits on the maximum and minimum voltage that the amplifier can produce at its output. We'll call the upper voltage limit that the output can reach L plus and the lower limit L minus so that the output voltage VO is constrained within these limits. Plotted on the right is the amplifier's output voltage VO versus input voltage VI. This amplifier has a voltage gain AV. So we see that as long as the output voltage is restricted within these limits, L plus and L minus, the input and output voltage are linearly related. And the plot has a slope equal to the voltage gain AV. The linear relationship is maintained as long as V out stays within these limits. V out hits these limits at values of V in equal to the upper limit divided by the gain AV and the lower limit divided by the gain AV. So the input voltage must also respect these limits if the linear relationship is to be maintained. Beyond that range, the amplifier output voltage saturates at L plus when the input voltage exceeds the linear range and at L minus when the input voltage is below the linear range. Let's consider what happens when the input voltage is a small sinusoid applied at VI. Well, that's a little sketch of the sinusoid versus time. And that sketch is reproduced here, turned on its side in the plot number one. So this is a small enough input amplitude that the output voltage remains within its linear limits. The amplifier output does not saturate. And so at the output, we see a linearly amplified version of the sinusoid. On the other hand, let's consider what happens when the input voltage is a large sinusoid with an amplitude exceeding the limits we established for linear operation. And that's shown here where the input sinusoid is turned on its side in plot number two. And since the peaks exceed the linear range, what we see at the output is a sinusoid, but with the tops and bottoms clipped off. This phenomenon is known as clipping. And it results in distortion. We call it distortion because at the output, we no longer see simply a sinusoid. We see a periodic signal with harmonics. Finally, it should be noted that the amplifier saturation limits, L plus and L minus, are usually related to the supply voltages, in this case, VCC and negative VEE. Most common is that L plus will be at a voltage slightly below VCC. For example, a data sheet may say that the upper saturation limit is at the positive supply voltage minus 0.3 volts or something like that. Likewise, the negative saturation limit L minus may be at negative VEE plus a small voltage, 0.3 volts. That's the most common situation, but special techniques can be used so that the amplifier saturates at or even beyond the DC supply voltages.